it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls and tonight I'm going to do a get ready with me video featuring mostly Tarte products. I recently did a haul with a bunch of Tarte items. I got a really really good deal on a bunch of cool stuff so I want to test them out tonight, kind of see how they do on my face. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. To start off, we're going to take the Bliss Fabulous Drench and Quench Cream to Lock In or Cream to Water Lock In Moisturizer. It's a gel based moisturizer and I'm just going to massage this into my skin to get started. Guys, I also forgot to mention, we are going to be using the Rainforest of the Sea palette, and I'm gonna try to do one of the looks in the cards. So we're gonna go for the Deep Sea Dusk look tonight, which is more of like a gray taupe look. So we'll see how that turns out. So for primer, we're gonna be taking the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base. This is just kind of a cream formula, and again, I'm massaging that into my face. Then for lips primer, we're going to use the Kate uh, Rimmel Lip Gloss or Lip Balm in the shade 01. Again, it's just clear and a good primer. For eye primer, we're taking the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. This is really nice. It's creamy. It provides a little bit of coverage, but um, it also keeps your shadows on all day long. So I'm just going to massage that onto my eyelids to provide that base for the shadows. Then for eyebrows, we're taking the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. This is a really good product just to fill in your brows, to give them a slight tint, and then also to provide some hold. And then for foundation, I'm taking the Tarte. Um, this is the Airbrush Foundation. This is in the shade Light Beige, and it's their full coverage airbrush foundation. So it has a nice little net to kind of hold the product in. Um, and I'm going to be using my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 to apply this. So I'm just kind of dipping in and then kind of tapping off the excess as you can see there's some powder kick up. And then I really had to work to kind of build this foundation up. Um, like I said, I'm completely using it without any other foundation so I was just kind of testing that out and I do like the finish. I think it has a nice natural look to it but it did take a while to get it built up. Then for eyeshadows we're taking the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Shadow Palette which is one of my favorites. We're going to go in with this gray shade called Wave, and I'm just going to be applying this all over my eye as it says in the instructions for the look that we're going for tonight. And again, just packing that on and building up that color. I do think it's a very, very pretty cool toned shadow. Then we're going to be taking this brown shade. It's called Cove. This is a really good crease or transition color, so I'm just going to be um, brushing that all through my crease and kind of blending that out and making that perfect transition for what we're going to do next. It's kind of a good just regular color to it's light but it's not too dark but it definitely builds up your crease. Then we're taking this light pink shade called seashell and I'm just going to focus that in my inner tear duct and also on the inner corner of my eye just to lighten it up a little bit in that area. Um, this one also is not the most, um, I don't think it comes off as pink as it looks in the pan. And then we're going in with this kind of matte white called Sand. And I'm going to be using this as my brow bone highlight. So I'm just going to pack that on my brow. Then we are going to be taking Abyss, which is a dark brown. And I'm just going to be packing this in the outer corner and then blending into the crease just a little bit. This gives a really nice deepened look. Um, and I really do like the color Abyss. I think it's really nice. And then just to kind of smush everything together, I'm taking a kind of a fluffy brush and I'm just kind of blending out the crease to kind of get abyss into the crease a little bit. Then we're going to go back into the wave shade, which again is this gorgeous gray charcoal. I'm taking a flat definer brush from Luxie and I'm just packing this under my lower lash line just to give a little pop of color, give a little bit more depth to the look, make it a little bit deeper. And again, just going all the way in on this look um, and packing that on a couple of times to get it to the opaqueness that I would like. And then for liner, I'm taking the Tarte Smolder Eyes, and this is in the shade Gunmetal. It's a gorgeous kind of silvery gray, and I'm just going to line my upper lash line. I'm also going to line my inner rim and my lower lash line with this shade. And one thing about this thing, it does not budge. Once you put this on, this will last you all day. It actually, um, it took me forever to get this off of my eyes. 
And then for mascara, we're taking the Lights Camera Splashes from Tarte, and I would say this is a very average mascara. There's nothing wrong with it, but as you can see, it's going to take me a little bit to kind of build up my lashes to what I would like them to be. Kind of showed you what it looks like with one coat on one lash and then nothing on the other one. So now we're going to build up the other side. I probably went in and did quite a few coats. Um, and I don't think there's a ton of volume with this. It, it does lengthen. It makes them a little fluttery. But I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but not terrible. And that's what it looks like when the coats are on. And then I'm going to be taking this Tarte um, Power Swirl brush. It's a really nice like pinched brush and I'm going to apply the um, Tarte blush with it. This is in the shade Exposed. It's one of their Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes, which it will last. It's a very nude pink, um, very natural looking. And this is kind of a cult favorite on YouTube. So I'm just going to be applying this. And one thing I've realized is you do have to kind of build this blush up to the consistency that you like. I like to see my blush, so I definitely built it up. And I think you really can see how natural looking it is. It's kind of a neutral shade, so it really goes with anything. And then for bronzer, I'm taking my Tarte bronzer. This is their Amazonian Clay Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. I really like this one. I've had this in my collection for a while. And I'm just going to be taking that, again, swirl brush and packing that into the hollows of my cheeks. I'm gonna bronze up my temples. I'm also going to be um, using that under my jaw and on my neck a little bit just to give me some more warmth. But I think it's a really pretty um, shade. It's not too pigmented and it's not too light. It gives you a nice kind of bronze look. Then for lips, we're taking this Lip Surgeon Lip Cream in the shade Illusion. It's actually a really pretty kind of like strawberry pink, um, and it's very minty, very nice. So guys, that is the finished look. This is just a couple of angles to show you what it looks like. Hope you enjoyed. So guys, this is the finished look. Um, it's definitely something different. I really liked some of these products. The powder foundation is definitely... Um, definitely different and it says it's full coverage I don't know if I would agree with that I felt like it was more like medium but I like how it looks on my skin it looks very natural and the lip surgeons this is very nice very minty really like that and I love this brush this is the softest brush um, I have ever used for like I feel like a squeezed like contour or bronzer so that was really really cool the mascara is okay. It's definitely um, more fluttery. It definitely doesn't give me the volume I normally go for, but I love the eyeshadow palette. You guys know I love that. And then this like stick was really, really kind of neat. I love the gray um, kind of subtle line that it gives. It's not so harsh. So different for me, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you're loving from Tarte. Tarte is an awesome brand. I've got a lot of stuff from them and this just kind of helps adds to my collection. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.